Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ahad Raza and today I'm going to talk to you about some very common errors I see in people's swings. If you haven't checked out the recent playlist of Jonathan Power, I would highly encourage you to check it out. It's all about swings and spins and he goes into a ton of really, really cool nuances of the game. I'm going to share a really fundamental component of the swing with you today. Now before I give you some demonstrations, I want to teach a very, very important concept and this is the concept of creating a line through the ball. And what this really means is when I hit, I never want to just stop when I hit my shot. I actually always want to create a bit of a line through the ball. My racket should lead towards my intended target. So if I'm hitting anything into the front forehand corner over here, I will always want my racket to go towards my target. Imagine I drew, imagine there was this, this line, we're in, we're in video game mode, we're in virtual reality, and there's a, a red colored line coming out of the back of my racket. When I swing, I want this red colored line to extend past the ball towards my destination. So I'm going to show you an example of the error, what it looks like in real life. So I'm going to play a drop shot here. What people do is to be soft, they just come and stop their racket as soon as they touch the ball because they think that they're going to hit the finest drop shot possible. In reality, that often leads to errors more often than not. Instead, what you want to do is you want to actually extend your racket through the ball, creating that line towards your destination. The same thing holds true if I was playing a volley. So the error would look like this, where I just stop my racket. And instead, when I create the line, I'm coming through the ball. Target, no line. There's another nuance that I want to share with you all. And this relates to the size of your line relative to the speed of the ball. The slower the approaching ball is, the more you have to create that line. And the more racket head speed you have to put through the shot to create your line. The faster the approaching ball is, you don't have to do as much with your racket because you can use the pace of the ball to deflect off of your racket face and direct it where you want it to go. So let's say I'm here on the forehand and I get a slow ball. What I really need to do when I play this is I need to extend my racket through and I need to accelerate my racket head through the ball. So slow ball, accelerate the racket head through. Fast ball, redirect. Quick, oh. That was a tricky feat, it came right at my body. Let me try that again. Fastball, redirect. Slow ball, extend through. Fastball, redirect. If you can keep those things in mind, you are going to hit far fewer tin. You're gonna hit far better attacking shots into the front of the court. And truthfully, the same thing applies anywhere else on court. Even if you're hitting a deep ball into the back, if you want to hit, say, a volley drive, you never want to just stop your racket when you reach the ball. You always want to create a line through the racket, and it helps the ball get to the destination. As I mentioned, JP's playlist on swings and spins, he talks about really creating that line, and he talks about a few more subtleties when he would play his forehand drop shot, for example, and he gives some really, really cool demonstrations of it. So if you haven't watched that, check it out. I hope you keep these tips in mind. Leave some comments beneath this video if you have any questions or feedback, and we'll get back to you. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.